Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the session on uh, SAP CAP for ABAPers. Uh, so we are going to be focusing on folks who are new to SAP CAP. Uh, so in the previous session, uh, we initialized a project and we also did a basic modeling. Uh, we created a mapping table and we also exposed it as an OData service. Uh, so in this step, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to add the remote services. So uh, we have uh, two remote services in our project. Uh, one from the Northwind database and the other from uh, the SAP S4 HANA system. So we are going to add both of them uh, in this uh, step. Uh, so I have uh, the GitHub repository here. Uh, it is uh, grayed out here because uh, you only need to clone it one time. Uh, but if you haven't cloned it, you can go ahead and clone it. Uh, this gives you the entire source code. Uh, but uh, we are going to be looking at uh, step two. Uh, so you can check out uh, the step two. And this will give you the finished version of uh, step two. Uh, if we further subdivide step two into smaller steps, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to add S4 HANA remote service uh, from the storyboard, and then we are going to add the Northwind remote service. Uh, this we have to do it manually. Uh, then we are going to expose it as an OData service, and we also need to edit the package.json file. Uh, so let's go ahead and see how this is done. Uh, so uh, just to recap, our application gets the data from a Northwind OData service. Uh, so all the customer information uh, we are going to get from the Northwind OData service. Uh, the sales order information uh, we are going to get from the SAP S4 HANA system. And then we have a mapping table uh, that is uh, stored locally here uh, that allows us to connect the customer information uh, to the sales order information. Uh, so the external service, uh, so we in the previous session uh, had uh, exposed the mapping customers. Uh, so today we will be looking at exposing the S4 sales orders. First of all, bringing the uh, external resources into our project and then going ahead and exposing it as an OData service. Uh, so once we do that, uh, we also have to edit the package.json file uh, to tell where we are actually getting the data from. Uh, so right now we are going to get the data from the SAP Business Accelerator Hub. Uh, so we are going to provide the direct URL right here. Uh, but once we deploy to Cloud Foundry, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to use the destination. Uh, for this, we need the destination service. And using the destination, uh, we are going to get the data. Uh, same thing for Northwind as well. Uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, provide a direct URL to get the data from. Uh, once we do the uh, deployment, uh, then we can use the destination to get the data from. OK, so let's uh, go into our business application studio uh, to see how we can do this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, check out the branch two. Now, branch two, like I said, is the finished version of the product itself. Uh, so if I go into my uh, storyboard, uh, what I want to do is uh, I want to go ahead and uh, add, bring these uh, remote services into my uh, project. Uh, so in your case, uh, this will be empty uh, because you have not added uh, the remote services. Uh, but this is what we want to do. Uh, so for this, uh, you can see there is the plus button. So we go ahead and click on this uh, plus button. And uh, this is going to open up uh, the service center, uh, which is uh, this uh, uh, editor right here. Uh, and what we want to do is we want to go ahead and uh, connect to the SAP Business Accelerator Hub. And this is where we are getting the data from for now. Uh, so select SAP Business Business Accelerator Hub. Uh, now, once we select the Business Accelerator Hub, um, we are going to get it from the SAP S4 HANA Cloud Public Edition. Uh, so let's go ahead and select the SAP S4 HANA Cloud uh, Public Edition. And uh, the uh, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to search for sales order. Uh, so that's the uh, OData service from where we are going to get the data from. Uh, so we select sales order right here. OK, so it's going to ask me for a username and password. Uh, so you will supply your username and password. Um, so you should have a 
SAP username uh, and a password for uh, the SAP account. Uh, so go ahead and uh, type in your username and password. And what it will do is um, uh, there is this integration between SAP Business Application Studio and the various SAP systems. So you can see there is the tight integration and SAP Business Application Studio makes it easy for you to develop a lot of stuff. Uh, so that's why this is a recommended IDE. So it's now able to connect to the Business Accelerator Hub uh, without us having to go and open a separate tab and open Business Application Studio. Uh, we are able to do all this uh, right here. And uh, you can see that it says Add to Project. So you will go ahead and click Add to Project. Uh, I've already done this, and that's why in my storyboard I see Sales Order 2x. Uh, but you will go ahead and click Add to Project. And this is going to add the external SAP S4HANA system uh, onto your storyboard. Now, the next thing is that we want to go ahead and add Northwind. Now, Northwind is not as simple as uh, going to like uh, doing it through the wizard. Uh, the reason is uh, uh, the business application studio doesn't know about the other uh, external uh, or data services. It only knows about SAP systems. Uh, for example, if I go here to the service center, uh, I can connect to different SAP systems, uh, but I can't connect to the Northwind. Uh, so for the Northwind, what you would have to do uh, is uh, you go to the Northwind O data service, uh, and you go ahead and copy the metadata file. Uh, so you go to this URL right here, type in metadata, and this is going to give you the metadata file uh, for the Northwind O data service. Uh, so you copy this uh, entire stuff, and this is, uh, and I've already copied it, uh, and you want to bring it into your uh, into your business application studio. Uh, so in your business application studio, uh, what you can do is you can go to this tab, uh, this icon right here, and this is uh, going to have uh, the uh, uh, SRV folder. So this is like the folder structure. So what we've been uh, working from the UI, uh, but the UI behind the scenes, it's uh, going to update the source files here. So now we are going to go ahead and uh, create a file here in this uh, SRV folder. Uh, called Northwind uh, uh, .edmx. Uh, and what you're going to do is uh, you're going to uh, go ahead and uh, paste uh, the uh, the metadata file right here. So everything that you copied right here, uh, you're going to go ahead and paste it here in this Northwind EDMX file. Uh, now, once you do this, uh, then uh, we need, uh, so SAP CAP uh, only understands uh, uh, CSN file, CSN file or uh, CDS files. Uh, it doesn't understand this XML file that you have just copied. So let's say I just copied this uh, file. Uh, I pasted it here, uh, but uh, the, uh, but the uh, uh, SAP CAP framework is not going to understand this. Um, so what we need to do is we need to convert this file uh, into a CSEN file or a CDS file. And for this, I have the command right here, uh, which is uh, fairly straightforward. Uh, basically, you're saying CDS import and then the path to your file. Uh, so if you had called it the EDMX, uh, then you will call this EDMX uh, and dash dash as CDS. Uh, so this will create the file as a CDS file. So you would open up your terminal uh, and in your terminal, uh, you can go ahead and run this command CDS import uh, and the path to your file. So we cop we created that file in SRV folder. Uh, so we say Northwind uh, EDMX file uh, dash as uh, CDS. Uh, so this is the command that you would run. Uh, I have already run this. And what this is going to do is um, it's going to convert your EDMX file into a CDS file uh, because that's the format we wanted. And it's uh, going to put this in this uh, folder called external. Uh, so you can see that it has created this file. Uh, and once it's created, this file, you can go ahead and delete this file. And um, I can go ahead and delete it. Now, and this is the same thing as the bringing and now, if you go to your storyboard, uh, you should see your Northwind here as an external uh, resource. Uh, so a little bit of uh, manual step, uh, but nothing uh, too much. Uh, so all you have to do is uh, bring that uh, metadata file and run this command. And now you have uh, both the sales order and the Northwind uh, in your external resource. Now, what we want to do now uh, is uh, we want to expose it as an OData service. Uh, so we know for that uh, we have to come to the services right here, and then we go ahead, click on Add Service Entity. Uh, so let's go ahead and say Add Service Entity. And uh, uh, so the Northwind uh, 
Go Data Service, if you look at it, uh, it has a whole bunch of uh, entities. And the same thing with uh, the sales order from SAP S4 HANA as well. Uh, they all have a whole bunch of uh, entities, uh, but we are not interested in all of them. Uh, we are only interested in, let's say, the sales order and the customer, right? Uh, so I don't need a draft editing. So what I'm going to do is I'm only going to select the sales order. I don't want anything else. So I'm going to select sales order. And even within sales order, I don't need all the properties. So I'm going to unselect uh, all properties. And the only properties that I'm interested in is uh, just these uh, five of them. Uh, so I'll select sales order. Uh, and then I will go ahead and say sold to party. Uh, so I'll select the sold to party. Uh, then I'll select uh, the sales order date, uh, the total amount, and then the overall delivery status. Uh, so those are the only five properties that I'm interested in. Uh, so I'm going to select uh, just those things. Uh, and I'm going to give uh, some name, like you can give a meaningful name. In my case, I have given S4 sales orders. And say OK. Uh, so go ahead and say OK. So this is uh, going to expose it as an OData service uh, with that uh, given name right here. Um, and then same thing what you want you want to do for the other one as well. Uh, so let's uh, go back to my storyboard uh, and then I'm going to say uh, add service entity and in this now what I want to do I'm going to disable draft editing and I'm going to select uh, the Northwind customers again Northwind customers I don't need all of them I'm only going to select customer ID uh, company name uh, and a few other uh, let's see uh, and I'm going to select contact name I'm going to select a city I'm going to select a country and then phone and then I'm going to say OK. Uh, give a meaningful name. Uh, so, and uh, this is uh, going to expose it as an OData service. Uh, so, right now, what we have done uh, is uh, we have uh, brought the external uh, resources into uh, our project as well. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to reset all these uh, stuff that I've made uh, so that I go back to my original. Uh, uh, my just my uh, step two uh, so right now I just want uh, whatever I have in step two uh, and uh, let me go ahead and uh, in my uh, uh, in my uh, project files uh, I'm going to do a couple of things uh, what I'm going to do is um, uh, you could have done this uh, from the UI as well, but I'm just going to show you uh, what you can do from within the project itself. Uh, so uh, I'm going to, you would uh, you would probably have uh, this name right here, a uh, sales order, uh, but you can provide an alias. Uh, so you can see that I have uh, provided alias for all of these um, uh, fields. Um, now the reason why I provide alias uh, is uh, the naming convention is cap is uh, for fields that they want you to start with a lower case. Uh, so that that's why I'm using an alias. Uh, so here I have uh, provided alias uh, for the Northwind customers as well. Uh, so that's all I have done. Uh, so if I run this uh, CDS watch now, uh, what I should see is I should see the data from the CAP project, uh, from the uh, Northwind, and also from the uh, sales uh, from the S4 HANA system. Uh, so if I click on Northwind customers, uh, I should uh, get the data, which is good. Uh, but if I do the same thing from S4 HANA, the S4 sales orders, I'm not going to get the data. I'm going to get the forbidden, like a 401 uh, unauthorized uh, error message, unauthenticated, uh, because for the the um, S4 HANA sales system, uh, this uh, endpoint, uh, we need to provide an API key. Uh, so in the next session, uh, we will write some custom logic uh, so we can provide the API key and uh, get the data here. Uh, but you can already see our application taking shape. Uh, so we have one OData service, uh, but this one OData service is getting data from three different uh, systems. Uh, so um, in the next session, we will make sure that the S4 HANA system gets the data as well. Okay, see you in the next session.